What's up today, folks? We got this filter head cut open. It's, uh, I like to do this after every oil change if I got time. Change an oil today and um, just at the shop, mess around at work on the clock. But anyway, cut this thing here open. And we're going to um, we're gonna pull out the filter. And we're going to cut some of this media off. And then we're going to see if there's any bits of metal or any wear or anything in it. It's pretty cool. Back with you in a minute. Need two hands. Anyways, I'm just using an old handy dandy buck knife, pocket knife. We're gonna cut some of this. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know how to do this, but I'm just doing it. Just to show people, because some people don't know. You can do this to check premature wear in the engine. Show you what to do. Cut out a couple of pieces, or maybe just a good sized piece of the filter media. Cut on this side a little bit. Just cut it. I prefer a razor knife. I don't have one on me right now. But it's not that hard to cut. I do these to big diesel engine filters all the damn time. So I know exactly what's going on in it, usually. Alright, we got that. That's almost in half anyway. Anyway, that's what we do. Alright, we set her off. Like that. Got the accordion. Get this shit out of here. Remember, I always have a bucket or something to catch the excess oil with. And uh, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna kind of make it like a cordium, sort of like that. We'll stick it in this vise, kind of like that. Then we're gonna squeeze this bitch, get out all the oil. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of nasty. You always remember, make sure you got a bucket, a couple of oil diapers or something to catch it with. Dispose your oil properly. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure a lot of mechanics know how to do this. Or anybody for that matter. This is just something simple I'm trying to show you. Alright, of course it's messy. This is just a little small river probe. Yeah. Squeeze it out real good with a paper towel or something. Oh yeah, Muggy Maniac. What's up, dude? Did you invent this or what? Shout out Muggy Maniac, shout out Joseph Joe. Y'all my homies, man. And Joe, I'm gonna get you that, uh, that, that, that air curl oil as soon as I damn get another box of it. Order a shipment, have it sent here. Anyway, as far as what you should be left with, I'm gonna do down. I don't wanna drop it, I need both hands for this, but I'm gonna try to do it with two. There we go, and as far as what you should be left with, people. And then you spread it out like this, like an accordion. And you look at it very, very closely. Very, very closely. I don't see any, I see a little bit of stuff, but not nothing bad. Not nothing terrible. But I can barely see it, neither damn magnifying. You're gonna get a little bit of wear eventually. In any engine, there's a little bit right there. Good stuff. Anyway, shout out homies. Let's just figured I'd make that. I know it's gonna be a quick video. It ain't nothing nitro, it ain't no RCs, but this is not just an RC channel. This is a work channel and a an RC channel. But anyway, y'all take it easy. Take care of your families. Take care of your bills. I'll see y'all later. Oh yeah, and by the way, by the way, every time I do an oil change on my, on any vehicle, personal vehicles or whatever, not on like the diesels or anything like that, but this is what I use. This shit is thick. Every oil change, I put a whole bottle of this. Is STP. I mean, it's supposed to quiet noisy lifters, and it's supposed to protect. And I've, I've always put this in all my vehicles, all my personal vehicles, anyway. But this is what it is. STP. I also use this for, um, you know, most of the time, like when you, uh, oil, you know, when you lube up O-rings and stuff. You know, especially for just big, big diesels and stuff like that. Especially as I just Joe, you have to lube up O-rings, and not sometimes you can cut them. Or, they, or a mother effort to get in. So I use this shit. It's thick as hell. And it's perfect for O-rings. Like when you gotta lube up an O-ring or something. Or put it in there. You know, gotta shove it on up in there. Shove it on up in there. I'm gonna let that sit a minute. Because it's thick. It's, it's just coming out. Oh shit. Anyway. It's just a little four cylinder. You know, fancy. Definitely in a diesel. I, I work on diesels. I don't want one. But I don't really have anything to pull any damn way. So. I might get one eventually, maybe if I get a bigger boat or something. But 
Anyway, I'm gonna let that sit. Take care of your bills, take care of your families, take care of your RCs, take care of your freaking engines, man. Take care of your shit and pay good money for them. Take care of them. So, peace out, people.